Hello, hello. Welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. And in this video, we're going to do a little bit of problem solving and we're going to talk about fractured patches. So if you've ever seen anything like this show up uh, and you haven't known what to do about it or you've had trouble with it, I'm going to show you some fixes. So sometimes when we patch something like up here, okay, what will happen is we want to get a G0, but we want some uh, you know, we want some nice uh, edge edges connecting, so we want to do a G1, and it works perfectly fine the first time, okay? And that allows us to do things from here, like we can do insets, um, offsets rather, and then we can start to build up our shapes and get some cool shapes like that, okay? But other times, you end up with this kind of effect down here. Now, a lot of the time you will encounter, um, I'll just try and select these without selecting too much other things. So control and click to deselect um, other topology. So a lot of the times what will happen is if you just try it again after deleting the fractured surface, um, it might work first time or it might not. Okay, so what you can, try and do okay this is what I'd probably try first of all um, is to just uh, brute force it okay just repeatedly try with this until you get something else so we're gonna try again I think this is our third go now okay um, we are getting left with a little bit down here so we'll just get rid of that so we'll try that and that has worked on I think a, a third or our fourth attempt okay and now we should be able to offset that and everything like that okay other times that brute force effect it might not work and what we're ending up with is a lot of extra geometry here as well but it did work so other times what you might want to do is try and break it up into smaller pieces okay so in this example what we can do is we can find a nice uh, shape like separating it into half you might need to do it into smaller pieces than this but I think just by looking at this it's not something that I really know how it works but you kind of get a feeling for it after a while this should work but I might be wrong so We've separated this into two halves. Okay, we've got G1s on both sides and I'm probably wrong. No, nope. I'm right this time and so we've got that one there. Now, of course, if you're using X nerves, okay, which is in the studio version. Um, so we can go into our find menu, F for find, um, F for fun. Okay, we can go to X nerves, okay, and we could get a G2 out of that straight away. Okay, so if we just join that X nerves to our um, model, you will be able to see that the X nerves does get a very nice result. You've got these very nice curves coming down here, where our other one here is, can be a little bit warbly. Okay, this one's not that great. Um, however, Those are different solutions. So if you've got the studio version, X Nerbs is probably going to be your friend every single time. If you're thinking about buying Plasticity, you're on a trial. There is a 30 days free trial. Um, I am an affiliate. Um, and if you use the code REFUGE10 at checkout, you can get a 10% discount off the um, studio and the indie versions. Um, anyway, that's a very, very quick one from me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Tschüss.